Okay, welcome back. I hope you're still with me. In this last video, I'm going to talk about the code and some tips on how to use it to control the LEDs and servos. I included a link to a Dropbox folder that has my original source code in the description of this video. It has all of the code I used to make my IG-11 head work, as well as the wiring diagram I made. For controlling these servos, I was initially going to try to use just straight Arduino code, but I found it too clunky and I needed more control. So this is where it gets fun. I was introduced to this board called the Mini Maestro. It works with an app that you install in your computer called the Maestro Control Center. This is all on the Pololu website. I've added links to it all in the description. Watch some of their videos and familiarize yourself with how it works. It's pretty cool. So the first thing I suggest you do once you get familiarized with it is to figure out your ranges of motion for each of your three standard servos. Connect them all to it and use the tools to keep moving them around until you figure out where the center is and where the left and right ranges are. This is most important on the 9 gram I tilt servo. Figure out the range here because the servo can move farther than your eye rig will allow it and you don't want to accidentally have it move too far. You could damage your parts. Once you have this figured out on all your servos, I suggest taking a fine tip sharpie and making marks on the gears showing your center and outer ranges. Now, you want to center your servos before assembling your head. And then, when putting the sections together, you will need to install the eye and sensor sections so that they are facing forward relative to your centered servos. This will ensure that when you tell the servos to be centered in the Maestro Control Center during your animations, that the eyes will be centered facing forward. Keep in mind here that it is very likely that if you use my code exactly as it is that you will have alignment issues. So it's likely you will need to use my code, test it, make adjustments, and then update. Once you have finished making your script, there is one thing that I figured out that is pretty helpful. There are acceleration and speed settings in the control center, but those are not actually saved as keyframes when you are working on a sequence. But they are very helpful when making your animation. So I ended up making a spreadsheet where I tracked all of my frames, and I tested the speed and accelerations that I wanted for each section. Then I wrote it down on my sheet, and after it is all done, you can actually directly modify the code and upload it and have it change during your animation. So the last thing to talk about here is the code. I'm not going to get too deep here because I could easily spend two hours discussing all the things I did here and no one wants to watch that. But I have included the INO file that I ended up using for my head. And I tried to add as many comments as possible in there as I was making it to make everything more clear what I was doing. A couple of things to note here. I spent many hours fighting with the IR sensors trying to get the, to return the proper hex values after it was all getting connected. I could not figure out why it wasn't working. Basically, no matter what I did, every button I pressed just returned a value of zero. Eventually, I discovered that I had installed version 2.8.1 of the IR Remotes library, which had just come out like a few days before I was started messing with it. And apparently, it was busted. I rolled back to version 2.8.0 and suddenly it all started working. There is a large list of libraries in the code that you will have to install. They are all listed at the beginning of the INO file. Some can be found right in the Arduino library, some you have to go download. Just doing a quick search for them should pop them up pretty easily though. Most of them I think were on GitHub. Another important note is on how the serial stuff works. I ended up using the software serial library and specifically defining what inputs on the boards use what ports. This changed everything and suddenly a bunch of stuff that was broken started working for me, including the debugger on the Arduino software. One last thing I will mention here about the code. I had all kinds of issues trying to use the web editor for Arduino. It has some great things about it, mainly the way its text editor works and some of the features that come with it. But I found out that the installed editor is much more reliable and consistent to use with hardware. The web editor kept losing its connection to the board and the plugin kept crashing on me, but that didn't happen with the app. So I ended up writing most of my code in the app, then selected all of the code and copied and pasted it into the text editor from there. It was kind of a back and forth until I got it all done. The last thing I want to discuss before I wrap up is regarding the audio. I did have some issues getting all of this to work, but it was most re mostly related to the serial port stuff I mentioned earlier. So you shouldn't have too many issues with it if you follow what my code is doing. Just make sure you upload the files to your SD card in the correct order one at a time so that the code knows which one to pick and when it's calling file 3 for example. 
Also, make sure you render them with plenty of volume. The servos can be quite loud when moving and you want them to be loud enough to overpower that. That's all I'm putting into this video. I hope this is helpful for everyone. I'm sure I missed a lot of important details and stuff I probably struggled with and overlooked here as I did all of this quite a while ago. So feel free to post questions and ask for help. You can also find me in the Droid Division group on Facebook where I will also post these videos.